I'm going to show you how to create bib labels, um, which it will be a file that you'll send to a race director so they can print the labels out that uh, Kim has sent them uh, from the week before. They'll have blank labels and you'll be sending them what you create right here. So first uh, I open up Microsoft Word. Uh, we go to mailings. Then we do start mail merge. And we're going to do labels. Now here's where you specify the type of label. The labels that Kim is uh, using right now, there are two different types that we've used, 5960s and 5160s. She's currently sending 5160s to the, the, um, the race directors. They're basically the same label though. So anyway, so I go and I select Avery, US letter, and 5160. Okay. Next thing I do is I, s I, I have to give it a file um, which has all the recipients that we want to create these labels for. So I'm going to use an existing list. And this list is basically the run score file that I've, that I've created, the, the, the CSV file um, uh, that has basically all the, all the information like bib, name, um, shirt size, that sort of thing. So I go into and get the file that I created. I'm just going to use uh, one from a, a recent race, the Asha Gioti race. And that's 2013. Uh, and then it's an entries. And like I said, I'm going to use the, the uh, CSV file from RunScore. You actually can use any sort of delimited file. Um, the best thing to use, though, is, is the RunScore file because it, it just has the fields that you're interested in. Um, so I tell it that. Okay, and if this comes up, uh, this doesn't always come up, but if it does, uh, just say yes and just click OK. Okay, so now what, what I need to do is tell it what fields I want on the bib, on the label. Uh, typically we do three lines. The first line is going to be uh, the bib number, and I'm going to do, uh, so what I want to do is insert the, uh, the fields that I'm going to use. So I go to this insert merge field and then I select bib. So the very first line I'm, ha I'm putting a bib in. Now I'll, have to, I'll show you what else goes in here in just a moment. Uh, so then I'm going to hit uh, the enter key and go to the next line. Now I'm going to add first name and then I'm going to add last name. Then I hit enter again for the third line. And here I'm going to set uh, select. Um, typically, I will select uh, sex, and then age, and then shirt size. Uh, one other thing that I sometimes put on the first line, and I'll go ahead and do it here. So I just went back up and clicked, clicked on the first line next to bib, and I'm going to enter the race that they're in. Okay. So now if we if we printed this right now or 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 preview the results, all you would see is the fields. You wouldn't see any labels on it. You would just actually have the values from the field. So what we need to do is put the uh the the labels in uh on the on the the uh, bib. Let me before I do that, I'm just going to show you what it would look like in its current state. There're no spaces in between um each of the fields and and I don't have any any um labels like something that says bit number. But so if I did it right now and I just did preview results, you would see so here's like bib one R for for race. Here's the person's name without a space between it. It's male eleven and then youth large. But all this is is condensed together. So what we need to do is is put it to where it's in more readable. So I'll undo the preview results. So now the first thing I'm going to do is click right in front of bib and I'll type bib colon and I put a space. Now I go into the next field in front. I'm actually the cursor is right in front of it. You can see it blinking. Then I'm going to do two spaces and now I type race and then a space. Here uh, the name is pretty self-explanatory so you don't have to put anything that says like name but what I do want to do is put two spaces uh, let's see, put two spaces in between first name and last name. Down here I'm going to put the word sex and a colon and a space. 
then in front of age, first I'm going to do two spaces. Then I type age, colon, and a space. And then in front of shirt size, I do two spaces, and then I type the word size. Cool. Now, you notice it did go to the next line. When we preview it, it will bring it back up on this, on this first line, so don't worry about that. Um, Again, I put a space after the colon. So now, if we preview the results, uh, well, th there's two things. One thing, well, I'll go ahead and do this first. So right now, it's only working on this first record. If I do up update labels, it'll go ahead and fill it in for everything on the first page. So I'm going to hit update labels, and you'll see that it did it. Put put essentially this first block that we're working on throughout the rest of the page. Now, if I do a preview results. You'll see all of this. This is basically the f kind of the finished product. So I have bib one, race R, Pranav, Cody, sex male, age 11, size, youth large. Here's bib two, three, and so on. Um, so I'm going to undo preview results one more time. One other thing that I, I'm going to do is I, I make you can um, put formatting in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make bib and the bib number bold. So I, I s highlight them, then I go over to home where I can hit B for bold. All right. Now I go back to mailings again. Now since I've done that, you'll notice this is the only one that's bolded. The rest of them aren't bolded. So if I go in and do update labels, it's going to bold everything else. Okay. Now if I go in and preview results, you'll see that all of the bib and numbers are, um, are are bolded. Uh, there's actually one thing I forgot to do because usually instead of saying just bib, I'll say bib space pound sign for bib number. Now once again I made a change so I need to go in and update the labels. You can see it went ahead and put that pound sign in everywhere else. Okay, preview results. So this is basically our finished product. Now, this is essentially what this has done is, is created a template. Um, what we need to do to actually uh, get the f get the file, the actual file that we're going to uh, send to the race director, we have to go over here to finish and merge. This is going to bring in the rest of the names because right now we really only have this first page. Uh, there's there's no other. It only goes from one to thirty. So, what we do now is we do finish and merge. We, and what we want to do is we want to edit individual documents. So I click this, and I want to do all the records, because I want all the bib numbers in that file, and I say OK. And now what that essentially does, but like I said, the other file was a template. This created a new file, um, but now it's got all of all pages of labels. So here's the first page that goes through 30. Here's the second page starting at 31 and going on down to, um, to 60. And then you can see all of the rest of the pages are in here. So the last step you would do is, is you would go in and do File, Save As. And you can I usually save it as two, two, two types of files. The first time I save it as a Word document, and then I, I, I just save it in the Entries file. I call it something like Bib Labels dot um, doc. Um, then I will also then go in and save a second copy, but this time I'll save it as a PDF, and I'll call that the same file name except with a PDF extension, and that will create the the PDF, which is typically what I send the race director. That way they can't edit it. So uh, that's essentially uh, how you create labels. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, call me or email me. Thanks.